the key differences between AWS EC2 and Windows Azure virtual machines are as follows. So, the very first difference is regarding our virtual machines itself. EC2 users can configure their own virtual machines or can choose from pre-configured machine images or even they can customize their machine images as per the requirement. Now let's see what is in the Azure side. Azure users can choose virtual hard disk which is equivalent to a machine instance to create a virtual machine. An AWS user can choose the size of the instance, the power consumption by the instance, the memory capacity of the instance as well as the number of virtual machines he want to deploy in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. Whereas an Azure user must specify the amount of cores which he or she gonna use for his or her instance as well as the size of the memory should be specified. AWS Service Level Agreement states that if VM was down for more than 0.05% time of the whole month, then AWS is liable to pay you a 10% discount on your monthly bill, which means out of 43,200 minutes which you have in a month, if AWS Virtual Server is down for 21.6 minutes, then AWS is liable to pay you. For backup of your data, AWS offers image creation of the configurations as well as snapshots of EBS volume. Azure 2 have backup tool and recovery services just like Amazon Web Services but along with some restrictions. AWS supports MySQL as well as MariaDB databases while Azure doesn't. AWS supports Cloud Linux as well as free BSD operating systems while Azure doesn't. So my friends, who won this battle? AWS or Windows Azure? Let us find out. It's quite obvious that there is no champion. Each cloud vendor has unique features and appealing offers with pros and cons. So we cannot say that oh yes, Amazon have won or Windows Azure have one. Actually, it depends on your requirements and what facilities you are expecting from your cloud vendor. If you have any query or wanted to know something, you can ping me or can email me. Thank you all. See you all.